Hey guys, welcome back once again to a brand new Let's Play. This time we're doing Breath of Fire 3. I figured, you know, I've done the first two games, why not go for a hat trick? And there is our hero, a young boy by the name of Ryu, just like his two predecessors. We want the message speed to be fast. Uh, have no real preferences for the background and window color. Actually, I'm kind of partial to the, the whole wood thing. Let's see, stereo, auto run on. Alright. It's kind of cold, you know. Got, uh, it's about five degrees outside right now with the wind chill. Without the wind, it's about 20, 25, but with the wind, the wind's blowing pretty hard outside right now. It's down to eight. Several of our pipes are frozen. I hope they don't bust, but, you know, we'll see. Of course, we got Mogu there, who is a definite reference to Breath of Fire 1. Giant chrism egg. Baby dragon in it. Kind of cool. I'm going to be doing this uh, kind of like I did Breath of Fire 1. I'm going to try and uh, get like definite stopping points in a video. Whew. The videos will be somewhere between 14 and 19 to 20 minutes long. I don't really see going over that because I don't have the patience to watch a 20 minute video. 20 minute video pushes my patience, so I'm going forward with the assumption that you have similar attention spans to me. So, let's see. you want to grab the melted blade from Mogu's burnt corpse, and that other guy. Uh, I always thought that, I always wondered if his name was Gilliam in the Japanese version of this game. If anybody knows what his name was, uh, the Wolfman, the Forest Clansman. Yes, I am a dragon. Is it a dragon? Now, you can actually run straight out of here, or you can explore the side paths, talk to a couple of NPCs, get into a couple of unnecessary fights that you get nothing out of. Which I'm going to do, because I like setting people on fire. Not really. If I were a dragon, though, I, I would probably go around setting people on fire. Just because fuck you, I'm a dragon. Oh. Forgive me, it's very, very cold. Now, none of the other corpses that you can burn at this point in the game have anything on them. Just Mogu. No more melted blades. I don't taste good. I think I wet my pants. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to go down there. If you go down this and this, you can get into two more fights. They're not necessary. The dialogue is not interesting. We're doomed! I know we shouldn't be digging up corpses! Oh, dead bodies. We're cursed! We're doomed! 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 Somebody help! Now, if you hold the R1 button, you can actually rotate in the camera. I can't get a really good look. There's nothing up here can't get a really good look at the dragon face there. You get a pretty good look at it in the uh, introductory scene for letting the, uh, the start menu go, though. And you get a pretty good look at it here. <sighs> That's the boss music. It's definitely the most generic boss music out of the first three games. Well, actually, no. Uh, that would probably go to the first game. In my opinion, the second game has the best boss music out of all the Breath of Fire games. Ugh. 
even if you regular attack, as soon as they attack you, you reprise or counterattack with the Welt Breath, which instantly ends the battle. So, there's no point in not using the Welt Breath. Ow. Dude hit me with a crane. What is up with that? I don't know why, but I just got a flashback to Serenity. Uh, Mr. Universe, dude stabbed me with a sword, Mal. What's up with that? Although points to that man for uh, creative use of crane. Ooh. Now let me talk about this for a little bit. Uh, the year is 1997. And I had just gotten a PlayStation. You're supposed to do this to fall down. Anyway, I had just gotten a PlayStation. And the first game I got on my PlayStation was Final Fantasy VII. I knew nothing about Final Fantasy VII. I had actually never really played a Final Fantasy game on the Super Nintendo. I have vague memories of seeing somebody play Final Fantasy II on the Super Nintendo. Uh, one of my babysitters when I was little. She was playing Final Fantasy II. I remember her going through the... Uh, the mist cave and fighting the mist dragon with uh, Cecil and Kane. Anyway, now that's why I'm like not nearly as big a fan of Breath of uh, well of Final Fantasy games as some of the other people. My first real experience with Final Fantasy wasn't until seven, but I had lots of great experiences in other games like uh, Breath of Fire, Luffy in the Fortress of Doom. You know. I played a lot of great RPGs. Earthbound. Super Mario RPG. That all comes to mind. This is Ray. Our resident thief. Dual wielding daggers. Way different from the... Way different than the... Warren Clansmen you get in the Breath of Fire 4. It's kind of funny, they go from a fast stick fighter to a fast uh, knife fighter to a incredibly slow dude with a log <laughs> in the fourth game. I like Ray though, he's a nice guy. But like I said, uh, Final Fantasy VII, you know, and I, I played Final Fantasy VII, but it, the, the thing that made me get Final Fantasy VII was a whim. I had seen somebody wearing a Final Fantasy VII t-shirt at school, and I saw Cloud holding the sword. I was like, wow, that looks cool. And I uh, don't get me wrong, I wouldn't have been angry. I wasn't angry that I found out it was an RPG. I was actually quite impressed with the game. Uh, Final Fantasy VII is... I still like Final Fantasy VII. I, I think it's a nice... It's a nice mix of the magic that makes Final Fantasies 4, 5, and 6 good, but at the same time, the advancements that, and uh, absurdity of, like, Final Fantasy VIII. Of course, my favorite Final Fantasy is 9, but don't tell anybody that. And of course, you know, back in 97, Final Fantasy 7 was, like, the shit. But, the thing that made me really buy a PS1, my original PlayStation, was this game. I looked on the back of the box, and you know how they have, how they have pictures, screenshots of games that are either out or coming out in the near future? Well, there was a picture of this game right here. It was a picture of Ryu, Ray, and Tipo facing down the new in front of that cottage on the mountain. And I remember 
just the the thoughts going through my head. What are they doing? Who is that? What are their names? What is their stories? You know, just all kinds of questions. Because I had played Breath of Fire 2 for it took me like two years to beat that game. Just just playing the game, playing the game. And I, I love Breath of Fire 2. Still one of my favorite games of all time. Now, when I had a Super Nintendo, I only got like one game a year. So, so I played the mess out of it. Little dream. Ryu's heaven here become more important in the future. Now, if you hear my teeth chattering, that's, like I said, because it's like six degrees in my room. I have a heater, but it's not nearly enough to uh, compete with the wind chill. So, just keeping warm the best I can. I don't feel like just hopping in my bed and getting under the blankets because, well, that just, you know, it's not very productive. <laughs> I mean, I could play my DS, that's what I did all day today, and I was like, oh, okay, I can't land bed no more. Almost done with Phoenix Wright, though. Another great Capcom game, if you've never played any of the Phoenix Wright games. Uh, they're on the Wii, if you have a Wii. I have them on my DS, which is great. <sighs> anyway, now we have Ryu. That's a save point. We're not going to save just yet. Vitamins. Kind of like the help BLs from uh, Breath of Fire 2. Worm is, of course, bait for fishing. Something Ryu can do in every Breath of Fire game. Except 5, because there's no water. Uh, Dragon Quarter. You know what? I would like to play Dragon Quarter again. Now, if you, like I said, if you hold the R button, you can move the screen around. And it's very important you learn to do this. So you can find hidden treasures and things like that. I like getting all the treasures in the forest here right now while there's no encounters. That way I don't have to come all the way back over here. Thankfully there's not like a whole bunch of stuff to grab here. Or not thankfully, depending on how greedy you are. Are you greedy? You're greedy, aren't you? And, oh, oh, bag. That's actually one of the only round trees in the game, interestingly enough. <laughs> Most of the other trees are kind of like that. The whole optical illusion thing with the... Yeah. Two green apples. Alright. No, but I saw this on the back and I was like, Oh, oh, do want, do want. And the second I saw Breath of Fire 3, uh, at the time, we did not have a GameStop-like store in my town. I actually bought most of my games at, a, at our local Walmart, and I found a lot of good stuff there on, like, whims. Huh, Bunyan. That's an important name. Ugh, it's cold. Alright. Now... This is the world map. It's actually... I actually prefer this world map to Breath of Fire 4's world map. I don't like world maps where it's dots on a map, you know? Uh, and there's lines between them and you just go, ah, da -da -da, da -da -da. I was very disappointed with Breath of Fire 4 for that. I mean, it's something you can look past and so it's not really that big a deal. But I love this map because there's lots of stuff to see. You know, you can go and. Lots of stuff to see. The map is per is very well done. And can't go down that way yet. Hit triangle, you can see. In formation, you can read signs. See little details, like that's Bunyan's house. And you go back here, you can see. Uh, our hideout. Can't go up that way yet. Yeah, we'll, 
We'll talk more about the world map here in a little bit, but I just, you know, I like this world map. I don't like the whole dots on a paper map, map thing that uh, Breath of Fire 4 did. I can think of a couple of other games that did that. I mean, it's okay for, you know, something like Final Fantasy Tactics, where the whole game is a series of battle maps, but a game like a, like a normal RPG where, you know, yeah, I don't know. It worked out for, like, Persona, though. So, anyway, next time on Breath of Fire, we're going to go inside the village, and I'll talk more about how much I love this game. <laughs> I'll see you then.